Uh, Carl said, Craig, what is happening with Trent? I believe he's going to sign the new contract. And everything I read, whether it be... Look, I, I got a, a comment here from Robbie Fowler uh, that I wanted to read out around Trent. So, Liverpool legend Robbie Fowler does not believe Trent Alexander-Arnold will be leaving the club this summer. Uh, this piece from The Echo, but they're crediting the mirror for the column. He said in his column, I know Liverpool want to keep him, and I've heard nothing to suggest he doesn't want to continue his love affair with the club as he enters the final year of his contract. So Robbie Fowler feels confident that Liverpool want to keep Trent and Trent wants to stay. We've heard murmurings of a 300 grand a week deal, but it's it doesn't help when you see pictures of him and Jude Bellingham on roller coasters or when you see accounts posting that an LA nightclub, there was Bellingham, Trent, Mbappe, Chouameni. I mean, it's not going to help, is it? When we see you know him on holidays with... Bellingham and some Real Madrid players. That definitely doesn't uh, doesn't make you feel more calm about the situation anyway. But I think he signs a new deal. So David, I think, said, I'm a scouser and I'm getting fed up with all this stuff about Trent. If he wants to go, good luck. No player is bigger than Liverpool. I think we need to be careful on that front, David, because we've never heard from Trent that he wants to move. Never even heard any indication that he might like to move other than some journalists who I don't know what side their bread's buttered on, you know? So we got to be fair to Trent on that one. He's never indicated he wants to move away. But, you know, he's all, we've also never really heard an indication that there's a contract close up until this week. So I'm with you on that. But I would just say, you know, Trent hasn't nailed his colours to the mast here and said he wants out. Uh, what else we got? Do I feel Trent will go for free, said Donal? No, I really don't, Donal. I'm not telling you there isn't a chance he might go to Madrid. And I'm not trying to say that Madrid don't want him on a free, because they do. I just don't think Trent would do that to Liverpool. And I think Liverpool would move heaven and earth so that doesn't happen. So I think if you're Trent and Trent's agent, you know you're getting a payday here. You know you're getting a big contract. And I hope that when Trent comes back from his holidays, and when he goes back to the AXA training centre, and he meets up with the lads... And he's back in familiar surroundings. And he's back in his day-to-day routine with his teammates driving the local. The same route he takes to train every day. And that familiarity returns. Maybe he can see that the grass won't be greener. Because when you're away and you're in LA and you're on holidays and you're out with Bellingham and Mbappe and Shoemeni. And, you know, you can see how a lad would have his head turned. But it's Liverpool's job when Trent gets back to convince him that one, there's a vision, a plan. Two, that captain's armband will be making its way onto his arm at some point and to make Real Madrid go away. So that's the challenge for Richard Hughes when Trent comes back from his holidays. And I think we'll do it. I think we'll get the deal sorted. But it can't be seen as a win. It it can't be sold to us as a huge coup for Liverpool. We're only in this position because of our own stupidity. We're only in this position because somebody foolishly allowed this situation to develop so you don't get an add a boy for fixing a problem that was entirely of your own creation so i'm not giving them credit for that it'll just be me should have done it a long time ago 